Ms. Perez? You see, that's me. This has to be a mistake. I was told you're here to apply for a small business loan? That is correct, for a bakery. I make the best baked goods you'll ever taste. What did I tell you about screening loan applicants? I did that, sir. And, and her credit came back within the qualifying range. Credit check. Look at the way she's dressed. There is no way she has a small business loan idea worth investing in. Waste of time. Let's get this over with, shall we? We expect to turn a profit by the end of the first quarter. And with our low overhead... It's not just about numbers, okay, Ms. Perez? The bank only invests in businesses run by people it can trust. People who know how to run a business. Yes, that's me. I've been baking for over 30 years. According to your background check, you've spent the last 20 years working as a cleaning lady, not a baker. Well, I bake in my spare time. The bank does not want to invest in hobbies, Ms. Perez. Here, just taste one, then you'll see. No, thank you. How do I know you even bake those yourself? You could have bought them at Sprinkles on the way over here, for all I know. Why would I do that? I've heard all kinds of hustles from people like you. Con artists looking to talk their way into a quick payday. It's not happening today. I'm not a con artist. I'm just the baker trying to open my store. No, you're a woman trying to pull one over on the bank. I promise you, sir, that's not what's happening. Here, please take one of these. Hard pass. Maybe you'll have more luck with a less reputable banking establishment. So, how did the big meeting go? Did you get the loan? No. What? No way, what did they say? The loan officer laughed at me and said I'm not the type of client they are looking for. They actually said that? Do they even try the cupcakes? That's fine, Miha. It's better this way. No, it's not fine. It sounds like they discriminated against you. The man brought a good point. I don't have experience. You have a ton of experience. You've been baking my whole life. You can't let them kill your dream like that, Mom. Was I kidding? thinking that I can open my own bakery. I don't even have the money for that. We're behind on our bills already. It was just a silly dream, that's all. Do you remember what you used to tell me all the time growing up? No dream is too big if you're willing to work hard to achieve it. Forget the bank, we can do this on our own. I don't know, Miha, how are we gonna do that? I'll help you. No, no, I'm not taking this. It's not much, but it's enough to get us started. I mean, all you need is sugar, flour, and butter, right? And then I can handle the rest. I can market it on TikTok, and we can just sell the cupcakes right from the house. I'm telling you, you're sitting on a gold mine, a delicious chocolatey gold mine. Okay. Let's try this, Miha. Inspired by her daughter's belief in her, Louisa began baking up a storm. While Veronica got to work on building a customer base through TikTok. Thanks to Veronica's viral marketing, orders began trickling in. But it was Luisa's delicious baked goods and hard work that kept people coming back for more. Demand for Luisa's cupcakes became so high, she had to hire some extra help. Soon, Luisa's new business was swimming in so much cash that she needed to open up a business account at the bank. Can I help you, ma'am? Yes, I have an appointment. Not her again. There's no use trying to reapply. I'm here to the meet- The bank has made a decision and deemed you unworthy of investment. That's not- That decision is final. That's oh. not what I'm here for. Look, 
Where did you get that kind of cash? What do you mean? I earned it. Yeah, I'm sure. Stealing money is not the same as earning money. Are you calling me a thief? Where else would someone like you get that kind of cash? You must have stolen it. <laughs> but no, but, but but nothing. You don't get out of here right now. I'm calling the cops and see what they have to say about this matter. Excuse me, what seems to be the problem here? Sir, this woman. Louisa! <laughs> there you are. I've been expecting you. <laughs> I was trying to tell your employee that I have an appointment with you. And, uh, sir, I don't know what this woman's been telling you, but she's trying to deposit stolen cash. Stolen? Yeah. Why would the best baker this side of the Mississippi need to steal money? She's here to open a platinum business account with us today. She is? But, sir, uh, platinum accounts are for top tier businesses. And her little bakery is a sensation. The best cupcakes I've ever had, ever. <laughs> he doesn't agree. He rejected my loan application a month ago, as a matter of fact. Is that so? Well, well, what did he happen to say? Something about the way I dressed. I can't be sure, but it felt discriminating to me. Uh, really? Uh, sir, I was uh, just trying to protect the bank. Protect the bank? Yeah. By missing out on a million dollar idea. <laughs> I assure you, I will deal with him personally as soon as we are done with our meeting. 